Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. As you may have seen on uh, my website, djiguys.com, uh, we posted up some images of the new Phantom Vision, which is going to be a uh, 14 megapixel camera, which connects to the bottom of the Phantom. It's got uh, its own isolation mounts on the bottom for the uh, vibrations. Um, as I say, 14 megapixels, it's going to have variable fields of view and uh, you control it using your iOS device so either an iPhone or a uh, iPad or something similar uh, there's lots of things you can do with it, you can change uh, whilst in flight you can use uh, your phone to change all the settings a 1080p, 720p uh, and the ISO uh, switch to camera modes and take pictures and you can record and stop recording during flight using your uh, remote or phone so uh, that looks quite exciting. Uh, it also comes on it with its own one axis gimbal. Uh, it won't be for stabilisation, that's what the brushless gimbal is going to be for. But uh, what it will do is point up and down. So for instance if you want to fly above a particular building or statue or something and get a shot from above you can fly over it and manually use your uh, iOS device to change the pitch and uh, it will point the camera right down and uh, then you can shoot away as you like there's nowhere landing adjusting the gimbal and then taking off again to try and get the shot again so that's that's quite good uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail with it at the moment because I haven't got one uh, I'm not sure if I will be getting one or not because I've just had to fork out for the GoPro 3 uh, so uh, the reason for that is because DJI also uh, introduced their brushless gimbal which they should be bringing out hopefully um, towards the end of the month if not they said it will be the end of next month but I'm hoping the end of this month uh, that's the one thing I'm really waiting for because that's going to give you perfect smooth uh, flying video footage and um, uh, they've tweaked the uh, bits and bobs inside and uh, really impressive in fact Colin Gwynn uh, done some testing and he put a video up on Vimeo where he flies over a lighthouse and just misses the uh, top of it and it just looks amazing uh, so I'll put a link to that in the description um, but talking of the, uh, the Phantom Vision as I said it points down now you're probably wondering how do you do that how are you gonna point your camera down when you've only got these controls here well on the back of your standard radio you'll see two holes with a little X next to them now I originally thought this was for some sort of setup um, but obviously not it turns out this might be a seven or eight channel radio and on the inside you've got two little yellow uh, screw heads in there Phillips screw heads so um, there's actually a video on the internet showing Colin Gwynn flying uh, well he's actually holding the Phantom and he's got the brushless gimbal on and he's adjusting the uh, tilt of the, the gimbal using the controls on the back of a standard controller so there will be some sort of uh, plug-in for the back of your controller goes into those holes and then you can just scroll with your finger as you're flying and make the camera look up or down so that's quite good, uh, something uh, I didn't expect from this uh, single controller but uh, don't worry you guys who've got the upgraded uh, radios in your phantoms or anything else because uh, you can still do it anyway um, and also you will have a little bit more extra things like your uh, flight distances are going to be a hell of a lot better and obviously it uses a rechargeable battery and you also have your timer set up on there so once you go up over 10% throttle your timer kicks in and then warns you when you really need to come in and land not also that's another secondary good feature about having a, uh, you know an upgraded uh, radio but as I say the stock controller is uh, seems to be a little bit more than it appears to be so that, that's a, a good thing for, for all you guys who've got the Phantoms. So as I said, the brushless gimbal will be coming out shortly and I hope to get one. Um, I upgraded to the GoPro Hero 3 because all the pictures on all the press releases have shown it using the GoPro 3 and not the Hero 2. So uh, I assumed that, that, that it wouldn't um, work with the Hero 2 but I think I might be wrong about that. I think they have brought a... Uh, cradle version out for the Hero 2. Uh, I've spoken to uh, Jeff at quadcopters.co.uk and he said he will be stocking it so as soon as I know he's got one I'll let you guys know and uh, I'll head straight up there and uh, get one off him. Uh, I'm not going to wait for the post or anything I'll do what I did with the Phantom and head straight up there and get it so I can get it up on uh, YouTube for you guys to see as soon as possible. So uh, that's it for now guys, as soon as I know anything I'll let you know, don't forget to check out djiguys.com for more information and more pictures, uh, there's a lot more information on there than I've gone into in this video, and uh, that's it, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe, see ya.